Well, hey everyone, this is Mr. Pearson, and today we are going to talk about geographic features that we find in North America. Well, there are five geographic features that we need to know in North America. They are the Appalachian Mountains, the Rocky Mountains, the Mississippi River, the Rio Grande, it's also a river, and the Great Lakes. So over on the East Coast, uh, on the states in the states that run uh, or that are closest to the Atlantic Ocean, we have the Appalachian Mountains. And these are some beautiful mountains that run all the way from Canada down through Maine and those states and down into Georgia and Alabama. In fact, the Appalachian Mountains run through a good portion of Virginia, which is where we are. In fact, um, we can actually, from where we live, we can see the Appalachian Mountains. Sometime when you're out on the, uh, the playground, you can look out and see the uh, Appalachian Mountains there from the playground. Uh, these are on the east coast near the Atlantic Ocean. Now over on the, in the western part of the United States, uh, the, we have another mountain range, and these are called the Rocky Mountains. And these mountains go all the way from Canada down into New Mexico. Uh, they're most famous in Colorado, uh, where there's a lot of mountains and skiing and things like that. Uh, and these are found on the west coast, or in the western part of the United States. Another uh, geographic feature that we need to know is the Mississippi River. And this is one of the longest rivers that we find in North America. If you take a look at our map right here, you can see that it runs all the way uh, from the top of the United States down through Louisiana and out into the Gulf of Mexico. It is a giant river. In fact, it is the third longest river in the world. That's the Mississippi River. The other river that you need to know is called the Rio Grande, and it flows uh, through the Rocky Mountains from Colorado down uh, through New Mexico, and then it actually helps to form the border between Texas and the country of Mexico. It flows right there along the uh, the southern, the southwestern part of Texas to help give it a border and to separate Texas from the uh, country of Mexico. And then in the northern part of our country, in the northern part of uh, North America, we have these five lakes that are all connected, uh, known as the Great Lakes. And these lakes are quite large. Uh, that's hence the name the Great Lakes. We have uh, Lake Ontario, Lake Superior, Lake Huron, Lake Michigan, and there is one more that for some reason I cannot remember. Oh dear, that's going to bother me. So Lake Ontario, Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, um, Lake Superior, and Lake Erie. There we go. Let me say those again. Lake Erie, Lake Superior, Lake Huron, Lake Michigan, and Lake Ontario. Those are known as the Great Lakes, and they are located in the northern part of North America, the northern part of uh, the United States. So again, we have five geographic features. We have the Appalachian Mountains. If you look here on the map that I'm pointing to, they run down the east coast of the United States. Over in the western part, over through here, we have the Rocky Mountains. They, they go from Canada down to New Mexico. Then we have uh, the Mississippi River, which is the third longest river in the, in the world. It's also one of the longest rivers in the United States. We have the Rio Grande, which flows out of the Rockies down through New Mexico and then helps to form uh, the southern border of Texas, the southwestern border of Texas, and separates uh, the United States from Mexico. And then we have the five Great Lakes that are located in the northern part of the United States. So those are the five uh, geographic features to know. Uh, the Appalachian Mountains, the Rocky Mountains, the Mississippi River, the Rio Grande, and the Great Lakes. All right, again, my name is Mr. Pearson, and thanks for studying with me today.